It feels really weird announcing something that you all pretty much know about, but I'm going to announce it anyway because it's exciting and some of you may have missed it. But as the majority of you know, I have been recording the audiobook version of All I Know Now. A few weeks back, I went into a recording studio in Farringdon for a few days and I was just recording me reading my book. It was very much just a case of me sitting down in a little recording booth with a printed out version of my book in front of me sticking on a pair of headphones and just reading. I know that sounds kind of obvious that it would just be a case of me reading my book into a microphone, but I didn't really think it'd be as straightforward as that. I thought it'd be more complicated, but obviously it wasn't. All I know now is non-fiction, so it's written very much how I talk anyway, so it was really nice being asked to read my own audiobook because I kind of know how I want everything to sound and I know how I wrote it and how I wanted everything to come across so it was really fun to actually get to sit down and read it out loud because you know when you're writing a book you never really get to do that you never really get to read it out loud to anyone as you're writing it you sort of just write it and then someone else reads it and you're not there to oversee it and tell them how it should be read but for those of you that have read my book you'll know that my book starts with a quiz a little getting to know me quiz that I had my friend Celinda my brother Tom and my boyfriend Pete answer. They gave the answers for that quiz. So we thought it'd be really fun if they actually came in and recorded them reading their own answers. One by one, Tom, Celinda and Pete came in to read their answers. However, I wasn't there for Celinda's day because I was at home throwing up. I wasn't very well. So Celinda had to go to the studio on her own. So I'm really sorry, Celinda, but you sound amazing. I've heard it and you sound great. But Tom and Pete came in on different days to read in their answers. But whilst I had them in the studio, I decided it would be nice to have little exclusive exclusives on the audiobook that obviously aren't in the book. So Pete and I recorded the boyfriend tag. She's sitting in front of the TV. What is on the screen? I'm gonna go with Once Upon a Time. I finished it though. I'm gonna go with. <laughs> <laughs> and Tom and I recorded the sibling tag. Who is the oldest out of you and me? Me. No. <laughs> 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 You're Tom seven years older than me. Yes, and six years and uh, six saying? months older than you. Is that right? What? We also hit a little bit of a snag when we realised that halfway through my book, my book's set out like a, a play. It's got acts instead of parts, and the contents page is the programme, and the like helpline section at the back is the props and the acknowledgements of the curtain call and blah blah blah, blah. so halfway through my book I had an interval because I thought that was in keeping with the whole theme so I did a little doodle of myself as Eponine but when we got to this bit in the audiobook I obviously couldn't be like well there's an interval now so you can all go away and have a cup of tea and just so you know, in the book, there's a drawing of me as Eponine that I did. You know, it kind of just, it was a bit lost. So I decided to do a bit of singing. So there is just a little song halfway through the audiobook. I'm making it sound like the weirdest audiobook ever. So it's going to be available on iTunes and Audible. But the great thing about Audible is that if you haven't signed up for Audible before, you can sign up for a 30 day free trial where you can download All I Know Now as your first free book in that 30 day free trial. All the links to pre-order the audiobook will be below and I really hope you like it. I hope you like all the little extras that we recorded for it because they were really super fun to do. And I hope that my voice doesn't bore you and I hope that I don't sound like a twerp. One of the main things to remember is that following the first kiss and first boyfriend and all the firsts that seem desirable will come... Oh, crap, why can't I say this line? What have I written, Hannah?